as one deputy patrols in a squad car. We're public servants and uh, we're here to uh, we're aid in any way that we can. I think he's a six. Another deputy is hunting deer from a tree stand. He's interested, he just don't know why she's not moving. Now we need the big boy to show up. They are miles apart, but still working as a team. Out on the streets, Corporal Brian Hall finds people who have a need. There's a lot of people out here that are lucky if they have one meal a day. Uh, a lot of people go to bed hungry. While out in the woods, Sergeant Eddie Forrest is working to fill that need. Right here to my right, see here. Let's take another dough. Tell me when you're ready. If all is well, we have taken three deer to feed the hungry. And, and that is a good day. We give uh, deer meat to a lot of people who's uh, just physically unable to go out and get into a deer stand or in a blind. Um, maybe they don't like to, to shoot a, a deer themselves, okay? But they like the deer meat. So, you know, we, we, we feed a lot of people that way. Not only are the deputies working on this mission, so are some of the inmates back at the Henry County Jail. The Sheriff's Department has set up a processing plant that turns raw deer into ground venison. They're deboned, they're rough washed, and they'll go through a process of three days of soaking and rinsing, and then they'll be ground. And then we bring it in here, we flash freeze it. It's got our uh, insignia, not for sale, wild game. And once the meat is packaged, it's ready for free distribution. While the deputies are out on routine patrol, uh, a lot of times they'll see people that are in need, that need some meat for the table. Uh, and we actually have the deputies to deliver the deer meat to the, you know, the people in need. Uh, we'll have community giveaways uh, right here at the sheriff's office. And usually it's cars lined up out the gate uh, to, to pick up the deer meat. While the deputies get the pleasure of the hunt to harvest the deer, inmates like Tony Brewer handle the actual processing. Well, I think it's great. It's a way to kind of give something back to the community. You know, there's a lot of people having hard times. It gives me a chance to do something for my community, you know, besides just sit in here and do nothing. Now you just can't have deer meat without a few side dishes, and the Sheriff's Department's got that covered too with the Inmate Garden Program. Now, tomatoes are really popular here in Henry County, but the prisoners grow squash, beans, peppers, and just about anything else you can think of. And whether it's venison or vegetables, the food is made available on a first-come, first-served basis. A portion of it goes to the local food bank. It's a way that we're able to provide some good quality protein to the people who need it in Henry County at, at no cost, and it is extremely beneficial, and it's become a huge part of what we give away on a daily basis through the Henry County Food Bank. We're eating something good and knowing that there's somebody back there that cared enough to provide it for us. Some of the ground deer is delivered to Damascus Road, a nonprofit program that offers help to homeless men and a domestic violence shelter for women. We're all partners and it, it, it's helped me and, and it's helped hundreds of others because it gives us something to eat that's good. The deer program doesn't cost the taxpayers. The processing plant was built with fees collected from people on probation. The deer is donated, the labor is free, and the program just might help motivate inmates to be more productive citizens when they get out. Our recidivism rate at Henry County Jail is at 84% right now. 84% recidivism rate. Once you come through those doors, you're 84% more likely to come back through them. And if we can do anything uh, that helps that inmate's either morale or his uh, character, or whether it's GED education or whatever it may be, uh, we want to do it because we want them to pay their debt to society, but yet we don't want them back either. Tony Brewer doesn't plan to come back, but he's glad to be doing something good while he's here. It helps out a lot of people. Of course, everybody knows times are hard, but some people, just, that, that, that's all they're gonna have is what they can get from somebody. We hope we can uh, double or triple uh, the amount of deer meat that we actually uh, produce here and give back to the communities. And the deputies doing the hunting are just fine with that.
This is more fun than going to work. Don't tell the sheriff I said that, though. I'm Steve Hall on Tennessee's Wild Side.